Yo, it is your boy Savage D Sag back up in this bitch. What is good? And uh, man, I'm late as hell to this chapter review. My friend got married yesterday. You know that was very good, and I was a part of the wedding. I was the flower bro, <laughs> so that's why I'm late. But shit. I'm gonna change the format of this just a little bit because of that. I'm a little tired, but I still gotta talk about that Chainsaw Man greatness. You already know. So let's get right into it. It's chapter 112. So first and foremost, god damn it, Fujimoto. He cut away from Yuko's death, which to me at first it was both disappointing but also promising. It isn't disappointing where I think it is a bad decision or anything, but out of selfishness, I wanted to get that answer immediately because the last chapter ended on a hell of a cliffhanger. Like, it is interesting though because it adds to the lingering plot lines and things going on in the background in part 2, and as this chapter went on, I got more excited that he left it lingering. For the record, once again, that shit was not Denji. Point blank period. <laughs> So in this chapter, after Asa is talking with Yoru by the ruins on the school campus, she walks into a group that includes the girl that revived Yuko at the end of chapter 108. We'll talk more about her later, but also the group includes Akoku who got his ass handed to him by Yuko in her devil form. Now, there is another guy who actually speaks and introduces himself as a president of the student council and devil hunter club, Haruka Iseyume. He talks about the incident at the school from two days prior, and he says that Akoku spoke highly of Asa's efforts against Yuko, so he extends an invitation to Asa to join her club. Yoru takes over her body and is on some straight savagery. She said that she heard Chainsaw Man's a part of the club, and she asks if Haruko knows who he is. Or I'm sorry, Haruka. <laughs> Anyways, Haruka pulled up his shirt, revealing a starter cord protruding from his chest. This part is throwed. Now, this ties in with what I was saying about Fujimoto leaving the cliffhanger from chapter 111 lingering because now I'm thinking, one, you know, devils like the katana and bomb devils had to take off their hand and pull off the grenade pin from their choker to activate their devil hybrid, hybrid forms. But we've never seen characters have the same exact method to turn into that form. So how did Haruka get a starter cord that looks exactly just like Denji's? Like, we, that shouldn't be possible. Two, what if the starter cord is a fake somehow? I could see Fujimoto doing some goofy shit like Haruka being a big fan of Chainsaw Man or something and maybe getting a fake pull cord glued onto him or somehow stitched onto him or something, I'm not sure, but kind of like a sick ass take on a fan tattoo gone wrong or something to that effect. Like, I don't know, like it's, it's, it's just goofy as hell to me, that shit throw though. But this leads to my next talking point about this chapter. The still unnamed but alleged four horsemen member that is a part of this group. You know, if, if the starter cord in Haruka's chest is real, I'm wondering if it's like if it's her. If she's the cause from having the cord. Like, did she do that? I remember I said in the last chapter that the person that is framing Denji in my headcanon would have to have some type of knowledge of both Asa and Yoru as well as Denji. So it, it makes sense to me. I, I lowkey wouldn't be surprised if the new horseman character, I'ma call her Freckleface for now, but I'm I wouldn't be surprised if she wants Haruka dead for some reason and wants Asa and Yoru to carry it out. I'm just saying. But as a side note, Asa was wondering in this chapter before bumping into the group if the girl was the justice devil. But I feel like that is a misdirection because she has those crazy raccoon swirl eyes going on just like Makama and Yoru do so it ain't no way, like fuck all that. The only shady part of this though is the reveal that Yoru states that she does not know the girl even though the girl called Asa a little sister so yeah I don't know what to say. Unless Yoru is just capping, I still think we have not seen the real Justice Devil as of yet. Which is another reveal I am excited for at this point, and I'm wondering if Yoru will be the one to fully execute them, you know, since technically she's already come into battle with an extension of them twice so far, or if someone like Denji will finally get the chance to kill him off, you know, we'll, we'll have to see about that. But back to this chapter, where we see Yoru and Haruka are destined to cross paths again, but before then, Yoru is telling Asa that, you know, that's the real chainsaw man, as the starter cord on his chest proves it. E even though we all know that it's straight cap, but <laughs> she states as well that she is strong, but requests Asa makes another strong weapon like the one she made to slay Yuko, since that would be the only way for her to battle one-on-one with the supposed chainsaw man. 
Asa isn't as argumentative at this point though because she is over making the people around her feel miserable which is it's pretty good development for Asa's character you know she is only feeling guilt about the Yuko situation because prior to that in the first chapter of part two Asa's ass was always saying I don't need friends and you know how pointless people are so it hits home even more knowing now that both Yuko and Asa change each other's lives but you know they'll probably never get a chance to ever see each other again so damn rest in peace Yuko <laughs> but after agreeing to turn someone into a weapon and allowing us to get yet another signature chainsaw man panel of Yoru doing an evil ass grin Asa is people watching to see who she may turn into a weapon but Yoru is reminding her that she does not need to use Ohiman sentimental items can be used too but of course, Asa has nothing else just as important as her uniform that her mom gave her besides her cat, which she refuses to use. This whole portion is now just showing us how much darker Asa is slowly turning, but it's only due to the circumstances that she's in though. She says lines like, I would rather kill a human than a cat, but also says she would only want to kill a criminal because they would deserve to die. It's still throwed, but at least it shows the glimmer of light she may still have. Yoru shuts this down though and gives her the reminder from chapter 101 where she tells Asa that you need to feel guilty about making a weapon in order for it to be effective. Otherwise, it is pointless. Asa is given a suggestion from Yoru to pick someone between criminal and cat, blurring the lines between, you know, who she is willing to kill and who she isn't willing to kill to overcome this whole dilemma in her brain. So this chapter has yet another appearance from our boy Denji, who is, you know, he's seemingly picking up cigarette butts and, you know, helping with the trash and whatnot, but he is actually finessing the tobacco scraps from them to roll into quote unquote new cigarettes and charge the homeless people at a high price under the guise of American imported cigarettes. <laughs> this whole part is funny as hell because in my head for some reason, I clearly knew that this man was not smoking no trees, but why did this whole page give me the, give me the impression that he was rolling the, the fattest of the za, the, the premium of gas, like I, I was just like, ooh, <laughs> I was deceased. But as I went along, of course, I knew that this would give Asa a reason to want to turn Denji into a weapon because they already ran into each other before and she had a bad first impression. But now Asa is legit seeing him rip people off who have little to no money. Although she still has hesitation about killing Denji to make this powerful weapon, Asa is convinced by Yoru and runs up to Denji and asks him a series of questions which ends with her asking him on a date, which is random as hell. But even though Denji had said he would be busy the whole week before just to try to blow her off, our simp Denji could not resist the temptation to go out with a girl again. See, you would think he'd have learned by now after Reese and uh, Makima, but like I be saying, current Denji, he only moves for glory and boobs. Like, it's, it is what it is. Now, this whole chapter was fire because overall it just leads to much more speculation. It's one of those where you come in with questions and leave with even more. I I'm just loving the continued build up to everything going on and I, I really wonder, you know, what the inclusion of the alleged four horsemen girl, AKA Freckled Face, is going to do for this Devil Hunters Club. And just who is she? Like, you know, why does she call Asa her little sister if both Asa and Yoru claim to not know who she is? I'm wondering if the new Haruka character is the boy that went and is impersonating Denji or if this is all a ruse. But if it isn't, what type of lengths did this boy take to get this power? I am also intrigued on how Denji and Asa, how that whole date will go. Like imagine they actually hit it off and on some awkward shit, like they're, they're chilling or something after the fact. And at some point she just finds out he has a starter cord in her chest too. Like, bruh. Nah, it's too many ways Fujimoto can take this and it's all exciting. So. I just say we gotta strap in for the ride and we just gotta keep speculating, just keep watching. It's, it's fun as hell, I can't lie. Like part two, it, it's a it's a different taste, but it's still that chainsaw man feel, and that's why I rock with it. Also in this part of the video, I got a lot of love on my chapter 111 review. So I just wanted to just put on the screen my appreciation for the people that you know commented, showed some love, and yeah, thank you for commenting. If you like what I had to say, you already know what to do like 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 sub 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 if you have anything to say about what i had to say drop a comment you already know as you can see on the screen i reply to the comments it is your boy savage d sag appreciate y'all rocking with me and listening to me and i'm out peace